Hello everyone and welcome back to Storytime with Miss Holly. Today we're reading a special book that's called Og the Super Frog. It is written by Kirsty Watson and it's illustrated by Nedla Shugley. You can call me Super Frog, said a frog named Og, sitting on a log one day. Og had a big imagination and today he imagined himself as a superhero. A super frog? You're not a super frog. What superpowers do you have? asked a frog named Frog. Well, firstly, I can jump really high. Watch this. One, two, three, hey -ya! Og leapt as high as he could, somersaulted in the air and landed in the mud on his bottom. Splat! Frog giggled. That wasn't super high. And that landed was super terrible. I can also hop super fast, said Og. Watch me. One, two, three, hey -ya! He hopped down the log as fast as he could. Boing, boing, boing. He went so fast that he flew right off at the end. Plop. <laughs> that was super rubbish, Frog Jake. Og tried his best to ignore Brog. Well, I've got a super duper long tongue and I can use it to swing between branches. Watch me. One, two, three, hey -ya! Og leapt up, grabbed a low hanging branch with his tongue and he swung up into the air. He reached for the next branch but missed and landed back in the water. Splash! Ridiculous! You're not a super frog. I'd give up now if I were you, Frog chuckled. There was no pleasing Frog, but Og had one last thing to try. I can swim back straight super fast, said Og. Watch me! One, two, three, hey ya! Og dived into the water and started swimming. He swam right across the pond and then, bon! he crashed into a log. Oh, Og, you're super silly, said Brog. That was it. Og didn't feel like being a superhero anymore. No matter how hard he tried to be super, Brog just laughed. Og felt super sad. But while Brog was busy laughing, he didn't notice the danger silently swooping in. A dark shadow fell upon the ground. By the time Brog heard the squawk, it was too late to run. The other frogs watched in horror. At the last moment, Og hopped forward, shouting, Hey, you! Stop! The bird was stunned. She wasn't used to little frogs shouting at her like that. You can call me Super Frog! Og cried. Watch this! One, two, three, hi -ya! Og jumped as high as he could, somersaulted in the air and landed head first in the squelchy mud. Splat! The bird watched curiously. Og then hopped down the log as fast as he could. A boing, boing, boing. <laughs> right off into the water. Plop. <laughs> Said the bird. You're a funny little frog. Next, Og swung himself into the air and landed in the water with a splash. Brilliant! What a super show, said the bird. After that, Og started swimming back 
luck strike. And this time he was careful to miss the log. But oh, oh dear, he didn't see the wreath. Crunch. <laughs> Bravo, what a super little frog, said the bird, who was enjoying her herself so much she had forgotten all about Brog. Og took a bow, then fled before the bird changed his mind. Thank you, Og. You saved me, said Brog. Oh, <laughs> it was nothing. I was happy to help, said Og. It wasn't nothing, said Brog. You were brave and fearless. You were super! And I'm super sorry for being unkind to you. Everyone whooped and cheered for their hero Og. Super frog, super frog, super frog. Now everyone knew that Og was a super funny, super brave, super frog. That was a brilliant book. It just goes to show we all have our own superpowers. Thank you so much for reading with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.